to see. I want the world to see. <laughs> right. It's the blowing of the raspberries. It's the raspberry blow, but that's all right. You're going to blow today. Because it's uh, well, yeah. Wow. You know what, you, never you, see you, the light of day. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. So, <laughs> I'm just here. Okay, here we go. All right. So, uh, oh, what's going on? I am KD Bo. In the studio with the amazing, tiny, a.k.a. indescribable. Hi, guys. And that dude over there, mm -hmm. Rod Minger. Hilarious. It's been awkward up here today. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit here and act like it has not been awkward. It has been an awkward it's morning. It's Katie's Me fault. and KD just had the whole argument before we came onto the air. And I want to put it out there to the world for the world to know. Okay, first of all. That I don't shake it off that fast. Let me just. Let don't, me, don't start an argument, then, then go action, action. To, the, to the crew. No, finish the argument. I, I want to stop because it's like whenever I say Rod Minger, hilarious. It's, the, it's, it's like when, when they're doing a news report. And they say, back to you, Bob. <laughs> and they stay there for seven more <laughs> seconds. You're supposed to get. And Rob be like. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty dope. Weekend was good, everybody? Had a really good weekend. Uh, I, I looked at the, the podcast uh, from last week. And hopefully, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the uh, podcast. Uh, it'll bless your life and the vodcast. Podcast, vodcast. Spotify is, is everywhere. So check it out. I want to revisit something. Here we go. Let's Here do we it. go. Here's where the argument started. <clears throat> Let's do it. I want to revisit something that happened last week because wow. I don't feel like I got clarity. Mm, okay. So you guys talked about all of the amazing things that were happening in your careers. And I, and I was genuinely, go look at the tape. Uh, but, Genuinely uh, happy. But mm -hmm. you also had a $500 state last week. So let's just not forget to put we that back in that. there. Yeah, we're not going to get off track. No, that is that's the same track. That's, that's the same so track, Katie. That's what the same I, track. What I what I said was number one, I didn't pay for it, and it wasn't mm. five hundred dollars. I'm sorry. And were you in Atlanta or were you out of town? So let me. It's the version. You almost got me. Ha. No, no, that's oh, the, that, oh my god, that's you the real rebuttal. I'm, so I said, mm. I said, if you guys ever need me for something, don't hesitate to call me. And it was a very lackluster kind of reply. I would like to replay it. May we may we do that? May I would love to watch because break I this want down. to look. At, yeah, I want to see. I want the world to see. <laughs> right, it's the blowing of the raspberries. It's the raspberry I mean. blow, but that's all right. You're gonna blow today because that's uh, what. Well, yeah. Wow, you, know would, you, you never you, see hey, the light of day. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so, <laughs> I'm just here. Okay, here we go. All right, so um, if you ever want to bring me on to to do something, man, I, I would love to to. Oh, that'd be to great, help, man. To help I, you. I didn't know if we could afford you. You know and, what I mean? And, and you. I. I would love to I was be about a part. Say, I definitely don't have any budget to pay I, you. I, I, so. I, you know, Katie, you, you be a different situation, man. Like, you know, you come with a driver needed. You right. Know, you need a manicure before you go on wow. set. You know, wow. you need yeah. a haircut wow. live he, on he set. He definitely is a barber. It's a situation. I want everybody. That was it's the diversion from the 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 story. I don't feel like that was diversion. What? I, feel like, I, I thought like, we were genuinely complimenting you. I'm no. Like those no, were accurate no. statements given, actually. There, there, there was nothing accurate about that. It was very accurate. Rod, okay. So you don't have an on-set barber? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Mm, we've seen him with thine own eyes. Have you not almost bought a oh, car? Oh, I've had a barber come to the studio before. That doesn't mean I got an on-set barber. Is this <laughs> on-set? He happened to be on-set. And set. your barber, was he here? So, okay, so do that you, would be okay. considered an on set barber. Do you have an on set bar on set? Do I have an on set bar on set? Because you drank on set before. I have had a drink on set before. So that means you got a bar on set. But it was provided by. And seen. It was provided by you. <laughs> Saying and seen does I'm not drive I, home the I, point. It was I'm provided trying. by you. You know what? It's been a rough day. I'm going to say it hard and loud. Y'all think I'm lying, but we were <laughs> so literally having an argument and then he hit action. It was a very jerk move. I'm okay. very upset about when you started this show. Uh, okay, but I just want to go. So it was the diversion. Now come back to this. Because what, what I want y'all to notice I look a little is strong. Look, yeah, uh -huh. look at the. <laughs> look what? At, it's the Angela Bassett arms for me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look, look at. Okay, yes, Lord. Look at. Okay, just play the thing. You need a manicure oh, before you go on wow. set. You know, you need yeah. a haircut wow. live he, on set. He definitely is a barber. It's a situation. On set. I want everybody to take advantage of hearing all of this. Go ahead, finish. I don't nah. want you to stop. I don't want you to stop. I wasn't going to stop. I was going to keep going. Uh, so you also need a saying. wardrobe person. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, you know all those okay. things. I, you know, gotcha. Katie has a small, mm -hmm. a small woman that comes and stands next to him who fans him. <laughs> And, and feeds him great. And, and I caught I it. I had no idea. I caught it. I didn't know. I think I caught it. That that came out like that. Oh. 
<laughs> and it was the subliminal Ryan is crying. insult. He is crying. <laughs> it's Just the subliminal in, No, we're not. He no, a, no, this he is, has my, a small this is my, my second. This is my second. Small okay, woman. First of all, let's, if, get, it, let's get it back on the. Ross, uh, we get fired. Okay, yeah. No, but it's the. It's, <laughs> yeah, right. What I, we're I, not going to do. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep, go, go, keep playing. Keep going. Hey, keep going. That's the stuff you post. We're not, go, we're not gonna do that. Come on, keep going. That's the stuff you post as a real. <laughs> that's the real right there. Okay, is it what, what happened? What I got? Con. It's the, it's the look. Okay, so oh. as it continued to go on, it, oh, was, it was the looks of oh, snap. like it was it was these looks like like oh snap. <laughs> <laughs> like we would never call you for anything. Right, basically. Like, mm. Uh, okay, okay. I'll give you an honest response right now. I felt like you were being sarcastic. Mm. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I, I did, no, because I'm, you, you I'm, listed out your credits for your movie stuff. This is the thing in the black community. I'm going to tell you this right now. First of all, y'all come up in here talking about some, we was filming all week, Kiki and Kaka, and I'm out here by myself. What I was doing, I was being a big boy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, yo, I'm, I'm jealous. I ain't do that. All I said was, when y'all do it again, let me, can I, can I play? And y'all basically said no. There's a lot of because, emotion here. Because we don't like. But the funny thing is. Because you got what, Tim coming and cutting your hair on the set. And Katie, we don't have time now, for that. I don't even mean to get emotional here, but I'm just saying that's how I feel. I'm sorry. Where were you while we were shooting that? Out the country. Uh, yeah, no. Just uh, whenever you need me. Uh, I'm, I'm there for you. I'm okay. here to serve. I, okay. I, I appreciate that, man. That, 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 I felt like you meant that. It sounded very genuine. And you see that? That's me being sarcastic in return. <laughs> go back, 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 <laughs> go back. It was Tiny's look. You see Tiny's look? Hey, you want you want to film some sketch comedy? I do. Okay, let's plan a time. When when do you have time? I'm sorry. Anytime. I've never called okay. you. You were okay. available. Watch, that, watch, that watch right us ask him like we always do. Yep. Well, I don't know. I got you know. You I'm gonna be in the studio to La You've never asked me. I'm never. gonna be. Hold, hold, I'm gonna be in the studio you know to La Rose. Never. That's how he do. Tiny, tiny. You've tiny. never asked me. Hold wait just a second. Ever. I have to defend him at this moment. We've never asked him to come and film sketch comedy Thank because you. he does not answer the phone. You know what? Now that I think about it, Rod. Wow, it's beat up KD day. No, I just had to send mm. it perfectly. This is up. terrible. You. Now that do I, I think about my, it. Now, do you want this receipt day? Because well, I can show you. I don't care. Yeah. Because it's uh, not. It's do not, it on, it's do not, it on the air. It's not do I not answer the phone. It's do I respond. Mm. Call you back in five. Do, I, do I respond? Never call One back. One time. Call, call back in five. Call I back always, in five. I always respond. Call back in five. Call you back in five. Everything good? Call you back in five. Yes, yes. Call you back in five. Mm. The responses. Call never, you back in five. Never the calls back. The five minutes never pass. But I do call you back. What are you looking at? Ant-Man time? Yes, <laughs> but I call you back. Because, man, this is days. Fix it, Lord. Oh, Jesus. I'm busy. Y'all busy, too. Okay, well, then don't be ask. asking to play with us. I want to play. Now, listen, y'all not going to keep coming up here and talking about how y'all doing all this stuff, and I can't be in. I want to get in, too. I don't even keep talking about this. Call, call about your this. celebrity friends. Don't they have stuff you can do? Oh, this is really digging this I mean, Don't they have projects have you can work on? Les Brown. Digging this one in, man. Okay, no, tell them next time you see them, man. I, I really enjoy his motivational speeches. They really got me through a tough place. I'm not doing no such a thing. Because he really got wow. me through a tough place. Yeah, oh, wow. let, let me do a skit. And I'll do. i tell him. Call him right on the set. Just let him do one. Hit him right up. Why? Why? I'm not just let him you do one. more than I do. Just let him do one. See? You know what? When you turn the heat up, y'all start turning on each other. That's what I knew was going to happen. right more than That's the reason why I brought it up. Actually, Eddie, what this, you want the skit to be about? This is not tension with us. Well, what you this want the skit to be about? To it's fine. Well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a willing vessel. Whatever y'all need. Okay. I, I, mean, just, I, I mean, like. Well, when we need you, we'll, we'll write you in something. Oh, there again. That's wow. that vague part again. <laughs> that was not vague. That was a jam. That was a jam. Very vague. That was a jam. He's, he's just saying, <laughs> he said, vague. when y'all need me, let me know. I when have we like needed him? Denzel, uh, like a Samuel L. Jackson. You know what I'm saying? I could do like a... Give me your best Samuel L. Jackson e right even now. Even a Keanu Reeves. Give me your best Samuel L. Jackson right now. What you got? Yeah, I did it! And I hope they all burn in hell! <laughs> that was impressive. That was... <laughs> I'll do it again. Let me put that in my notes. We gotta cast again. him. The Burning Hill line. We gotta cast cable. him. That's a... Yep, that was that was genius. <sighs> We are, we're, we're going to write a skit it's and we're going to randomly cut to Katie's face saying that one line and then he won't be in anything else. I actually uh, described to you one day the perfect little scenario we should do. Mm -hmm. I said I wanted to reenact uh, a date that I had that went bad and I wanted you to be the bartender that was there for that date. And I said yes. You kind of said yes. 
Wow, Rod. You kind of said yes. What do you want me? What do you want me to say? Then you you went you went into director mode. You was like, you gotta do this, 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 and this. I was like, that's not how we operate. Okay, I mean, please forgive me because I storyboard. No, because I do things accurately that for all of my that, other thespians uh, out there that understand what wow, you're supposed to do. Wow. I storyboard. I can't just be flippity floppity, as you say. I, you know, trying to do stuff. No, I want a storyboard. I want to know exactly what's happening. We roll like that. What's just happening right at now? At this present moment, as the person what that is does not right storyboard now? every single thing, uh, that's what keeps me going. We are witnessing KD Bo have a mental breakdown. I, you know how you get water on an old radio? He is short circuiting right now. It's Whatever. happening because all we I mean, wouldn't let him play. But it's all I wanted to do in the skits was just be able to, you know, like I felt like little, little, little Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I wouldn't play in the reindeer games. He wouldn't let me do it. Wow, you really was reaching for that one. <laughs> you really reached for that well, one. I, mean, you really, I mean, man. Okay, we stayed on this too long. All right, so uh, bottom line is, uh, guys, again, if if you guys need me, please need me because I am available. Okay. <laughs> right, man, anyway, okay, so uh, how was your weekend, brother? My weekend was great, man. Very interesting, man. Gotcha. Uh, Tell me about it in a moment. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> how was your weekend, Tiny? I forgot. I was supposed, you know I was supposed to win the title. Well. I was supposed to win the title. You know that. I'm just following the rules. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's swimming. <laughs> that was the world's best <laughs> transition. That was the best transition. Um, <laughs> Come on, man. Go ahead, Ty. Rod, pull yourself together. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Tiny. Go ahead, finish, but you didn't worry about um, it. Oh. Okay, already. <laughs> okay. I, uh, so this weekend, actually... Oh, Segway to Rod. We uh, spent the entire weekend together filming. <sighs> uh, so we did some skits on Saturday, and then we worked on this um, TV pilot, yeah, you started, yeah, which was really again. fun. You set us right up. Um, it was uh, it was a really good time. Met some really cool people. Uh, enjoy being you know on set, mm. getting some experience. You know, get my feet wet and stuff like that. Um, and then I had some family come into town, uh, so we hung out. We uh, did Candy Topia. We were um, we were oh, the, the oldest people there. We the, were the board. Uh, no, no, no. That's a. Uh, a spot where? Candytopia. Mm-hmm. It's in a Buckhead. It's uh, like basically everything is made out of candy. Yes. And it's like you can take selfies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Is it dope? Yeah. It was dope. It was a little. Um, there was some things that made me nervous. Uh, they had a, a marshmallow pit. And people were just climbing in and out of it. Like COVID numbers weren't still rising. Um, mm. But yeah, so I, I was like, I really wish I. So was I really wish I wasn't so germaphobic that I. I could enjoy this, but I'm gonna mm. just look at it, take it all in, and then no, I'm gonna go I'm home. Not jumping on the marsh. But it was it was like 30 minutes start to finish. Was it equivalent to the balls at Chuck E. Cheese? Absolutely. Oh, that's gross. Well, Absolutely. they're softer than the, you know those are. But yeah, they don't have balls at Chuck E. Cheese anymore though. Not anymore. No. They took them out. I don't think so. Not because COVID. A term thing. Yeah. Yeah. Candy told me don't care. They had a um, they had a, an inflatable tunnel, and everybody had to go through it. Oh no, no, ma'am. You yeah. couldn't go backwards. Oh, you can miss me. We had that. no choice. Mm-mm. I would have. If I could have, I would. I promise you. I felt my friend. She was like, um, she was like, well, I'm just gonna rub it in like lotion. No, ma'am. It was sweat. It was sweat no, everywhere. No, it was just nasty. It was just. It's like it, it's like wiping your hand along a New York City rail. Oh man, wow. it's just so many people there and so many you that, know types that, of breaths. Um, <laughs> well, that sold me on it. I know. I mean, it was cool. It's, it's definitely something for the kids. Yeah. And had we not been in a global pandemic, I probably would have enjoyed it a little more. But I just, I, I could not wait to go wash my entire body. Mm, yeah. Well, it, what, what would have probably made it a little better would be a, uh, maybe like me, a Mentos. As mm. you know, the KD Bo Show is brought to you by Mentos. Fresh breath. And you know the craziest, the, the thing that bothered the, me the most. The whisper correction. I'm going to speed pass. Um, the <laughs> thing that I hated, the thing that I hated the most, there was this room and it was completely covered with confetti, right? And there was a, a young man there who was sweeping up the confetti. And doing what? Throwing it in people's faces. Did he throw it in your face? He threw it right into our hair. And what and did I, you do? And I instantly threw <laughs> I said, baby, you you see, you know, like that's the most disgusting thing in the world. Oh I said, I don't know how long this trip gonna be, but I'm going to the house. It one nasty. got stuck on your lip. Oh it was, my I god, um, it was disgusting, and I, I had, I, I felt like mm. it just, it just felt nasty. Yeah. Um, aside from that, though, it it, it looked good. Mm. It just, it was, it's not COVID friendly at all. Are you one of those people that walk around uh, the house or even can walk outside bare feet? I can't do that. 
Yeah. I got to put something on my feet. Yeah. 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 It got to be extenuating circumstances. It has to be a full-fledged emergency. I think because I'm from the country, it doesn't matter to me. But, yeah, no, no. Ivy be like that. I'm going to go on the patio know. barefooted all the time. I'm just country like that. I personally will as well. But then yeah. she come out there with the slippers. Put them on your feet. Yeah. It's not. I mean, I think it's the fact that I don't want you to track the dirt back in my house. No, no, no. I get it. I just. Yeah, but I will walk around barefoot. Yeah, and it's going to be all in, your, in the grits of your feet. So everywhere you go, you're going to walk around. It'll be in socks, too. Or, or house shoes. No, what I'm saying is it's going to be on your body. Oh, because you don't need to take a bath at night? Okay, well, if you want to spend your time in the bath washing off foot funguses and things yeah, like that, yeah. then that's on you. That's what but I'm, I'm just trying to teach you how to avoid the foot fungus. Let me tell you something. It's a little tight today. Well, listen. A well, tight today. You, you played. What, what, what sport did you play? Uh, baseball and basketball. So, you know, man, athletes' feet is one of the things that you just, we, did you just get when you're in sports. Mm-hmm. Did, how do they tell you to get rid of athletes' feet? Uh, with cream in the shower and cream as you're in the shower and cream tell that part of the story though. but you do need the cream did you want to tell that part of the story but do you need the you cream? pee on your feet that's basically what you do and I that was, kills I was, athletes feet I think that might have been extinct by the time I got to school I was like Katie that, that is some I was you white on mess just google it no just I'm not google it I remember the peeing of the jellyfish but I didn't, yeah. know, I didn't know it was a thing for jellyfish, yeah, you, jellyfish you, thing. You, no you pee on your feet and it, it kills uh, athletes feet yeah I was, I was totally I mean, you can put the cream on, it's fine, but but if you want to accelerate the situation, and you, know. you want to be real, I was we from the country, we, we just took Robitussin. <laughs> Ginger, on your feet. lay down. Everything is Robitussin. Oh, lay down, Robitussin. lay down, make it all better. Feel funny? Robitussin. Mm. Benadryl, Robitussin, Domitap. And that's why to this day, you still <laughs> have athlete's feet. It's okay, though. <laughs> A little tussin will do you. Never peed in the shower. I didn't, I didn't, uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute, uh, Tiny. What you're, not go, what you're not gonna do is what? act like. Well, we are you trying to tell me that you don't relieve thine self in thine shower? First of all, no. Because girls don't pee. That's what it is. No, what it is. we pee. We use the toilet. Oh, <laughs> tiny. Oh. That's actually disgusting it's to pee gross. in the shower. I, I don't know. KD, you're a shower peer? Raise your hand. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it because y'all not going to be honest. All right, it's clear. But I can tell you that there are four people in this room. Three of them have peed in the shower. It's water going down there anyway. Yes. I bet that shower smells like. Amazing. Because <laughs> I drink water. You is not going to be peeing in nobody's shower. It's going down the drain. That's nasty. There's a oh, toilet but, for that. And my feet are amazing. No viruses at all. Greatness. Can we can go. we cut to commercial? All right. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, Rod? I had a great weekend, man. Uh, really busy. Uh, shout out to uh, I was on a comedy tour last week mm. that led into the weekend. So I did uh, Charlotte, D.C., and Virginia all last week. And then I decided to have this great idea that I thought I could pull off. So I had a late show. What was that? Thursday night. And I had an early flight at like 7. So I thought it would be a good idea. You know, I shouldn't go to sleep. After the show, because a lot of Stillman alumni came, so shout out to all the Stillman alumni that came to the show. I was like, yo, let's all go out and hang out. What night was this? This was Thursday night. Oh. Yeah, show ended about 11.30, and we went to some place called The Boardroom in uh, Washington, D.C., where you could play board games. They had Uno everywhere, Taboo, all these different mm, games you could play. Fun. And the place stayed open until like 3 a.m. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll just stay up until it's time for my flight. That was not a good idea. Um, yeah, yeah. So I got, How I, delirious were you? Uh, the, listen, it was so bad. When I was sitting there, and I actually got through TSA and all that, got to my uh, gate, and I was scared to close my eyes. Because every time I made an announcement, I was like, they're calling me. It's me. It's me. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. Then I realized I'm, I'm probably tripping. I'm probably yeah. paranoid. I kept thinking I was going to fall asleep and miss the flight while I was already there. Then get off that flight, come home, sleep till about 4 in the afternoon. And then uh, I shot some content with Tiny and some other people on Saturday morning. And then I filmed again with the Killer Mike pilot on Sunday. Mm. So that was my weekend. So wow. I, I think I filmed for 10 hours yesterday. That's crazy, bro. It was a lot. Like, it was a lot. So, like this morning, you was had like a lag, or do you? Are you? Good? No, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm cool. I, I'm I did that when I was coming from Dallas, man, and I stayed up all night, get delirious. But I mean, there are times in which I get insomnia, and I and that ha- that's kind of mm-hmm. commonplace for me. Yes. But when you're tired and you want to go to, that's the worst feeling in the world. Because mm-hmm. all you when think you're about sleepy it. and you cannot go to sleep. 
It's always like you. It's almost like you want to cry. Oh, like, <laughs> I just want to. Like, oh, it's right. I want to go by. But it's worse Mine because you're, racing. you're married and you get to watch your wife sleep. Oh well, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the most jealous thing that can happen in any relationship to watch the person next to you sleep peacefully <laughs> while you are wide awake. You just want to throw a bucket of water on them. Whoa, where did that come from? Right. It's, you so jealous. You be like, yo, I'm talking about sleep. They in that third tier too. Like, I, I don't go in the room, man. I just don't because you know because that's I the worst. Like a baby. That's the worst thing you do. You want to wake them up because you sneak it in late. <laughs> yeah. Now who is doing that? Uh, me. That's why. Because I'm telling you something. I, mm. So I, I'll stay in the tent for like, until like three o'clock in the morning sometimes, and I get up and I come in, and then that, that door opens because you know you got the automatic light that comes on. Right. When you open that door, that light comes in there, and like, <laughs> <laughs> what you been doing? <laughs> Nothing. Who is in my house? <laughs> oh my god! And this tent. This is the tent that's connected to your house, right? I was uh, the one we've never been invited yeah. to. I was I was watching um, uh, Disney Plus yesterday. Uh, Cesar Milan, the Dog Whisper. Familiar with him? Yes. Mm-hmm. No. No. Oh. I've heard. Of, I haven't is watched the show, but I've heard, I don't I've know his name. Cesar, I've heard of the Cesar, Dog Whisper. Cesar Milan is his name. Okay. Okay. Man, I did not know his backstory. So his backstory is one that he was an illegal immigrant. He came here. It's like snuck here several <laughs> times. He tried to get here from Mexico. He found a way to get under the fence, broken fence, got in, had a, a, a coyote is what they call people, the, the guys mm-hmm. that sneak you in. Right. Got a guy. And he was homeless for quite a while. But for him to be able to have that trek from literal nobody and having nothing to becoming what he is now, it just, I was so impressed. And then it, it kind of made me wonder, and I don't know how this is going to land, um, but, you know, when you have different ethnicities that come here, Mm-hmm. And the struggle for some of them to get here, and we wonder why they work so hard. Mm-hmm. We wonder why they're willing to do some things that we won't. We're gonna lift up our nose at or scoff at, you mm-hmm. know. And <clears throat> he was one of those people that was he washed dishes, you know. Hey man, he said I would. Uh, I, he said, man, when I found out about AM, PM, and 7-Eleven and how they had a, a, a two hot dogs for 99 cents, he said it was the greatest thing ever in the world. I was mm-hmm. able to eat for a dollar, two hot dogs, had me a drink. He just, he wasn't afraid of hard work. And I'm saying, a lot of us here, I don't know I don't know if we Americans understand how blessed we are. We complain about a lot. We trip mm-hmm. about a lot and everything. But there are other people that come here and their stories have been tough. Mm-hmm. But they get here and they find a way to make it. Which is why I don't really, I don't really do the excuses thing. Like, I can't, I can't, I don't, I won't, I ain't, mm-hmm. mm-mm, nope. Because there's too many opportunities here if you set your mind to it. To be able to win. So that story really stuck with me. So if you want to watch it, it's on Disney Plus. It's called uh well Caesar Milan. Look it up, the dog whisper. I love stories like that, man. Super mm-hmm. dope. I love stories like that. That's why I like to watch a lot of uh wrestler documentaries. Cause you know, wrestling just became the million well, now it's a billion dollar industry, but it just became a million dollar industry like in the nineties. Mm. So everybody that was like a famous wrestler, like starting from the fifties to the eighties, we're making like a hundred dollars a show. Oh no! I'm talking about Hulk Hogan. I'm talking about Macho Man Randy Savage. Hulk Rick. Hogan. They were making like a hundred dollars a show, bro. Like, and they would drive from California to Canada to Chicago to That's Atlanta. Crazy. I mean, they were spending more in gas and hotels than they were actually making. So they really like think of the kind of faith they had to have to like somebody like yo man like just do this for about ten years and it might be something. It might be something. Wow. It might be something. And think about it. You know what caused a uh, transition to make uh, the WWE was WWE now was WWF. What really put them into the million dollar category was Hulk Hogan starring in Rocky Three. Yo, I forgot that changed he was everything. In that. He was in Rocky Three, and then him and Mr. T got together after Rocky Three, and they did WrestleMania One, which changed wrestling forever. Yeah. So all those guys that we know as stars were just broke and on the road, traveling everywhere they could, getting their bodies beat up. Taking a lot, lot of them taking steroids right. because I mean you don't have time to work out like that when you're on the road. It ain't nobody testing you. You know nobody on, was yeah. testing in the '80s. That's why most of the wrestlers was bigger. Think about when Hogan wrestled in the '80s, he weighed 350 pounds. Whoa, Jesus! Now the NWO Ho Hogan weighed 280 pounds. Okay, so he had to slim down. He had to slim it down. He well, the NWO, he was uh, he was the bad, bad. He's a bad guy. Okay. But, but if you look yeah. at the old videos, like the eighties videos in the NWO, he was lean. They were swole, more, more cut though. Yeah, yeah. So like, I just love watching those stories. So like, A uh, and E has a couple of them right now. They have Stone Cold story, Macho Man Randy Savage story, uh, Mick Foley story, Bret Hart story, Shawn Michaels story. So I love watching those because they really went through it, wow. man. You got a favorite wrestler? No, I wasn't into wrestling like that. No? I did get kicked off the bus in fourth grade for telling some someone to suck it. 
Just bleep that out, kind. No, you can leave. That's from DX. You remember the you can suck it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was yeah. my last day riding the bus. That yeah, was what, what happened when you when you got home? What, what you, yeah, my mama told me up. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I know. I told somebody, I said, "Watch it, sucker." <laughs> I said, "Watch it, sucker." Mama said, "What you say?" <laughs> Yo, I said, "Um, no, no, no." What you say? I see what you saw. <laughs> like them TikTok. <laughs> and that be the thing where you don't know something, what it really means. Yeah. I remember, uh, I don't know about where y'all are from, but in Alabama, if somebody belched adults, if they heard another adult belch, they would call them a buzzard. It was like a oh, buzzard. It was just like a thing, right? So one day yeah. I'm, in the, I'm in the car with my dad and he belches. You know, I'm here on the adults' head. I'm like, buzzard. <laughs> Oh no! Yanks, I had no idea that was disrespectful. I didn't know that that was a thing. I, I know it was a thing. I've never heard it before I didn't know until that day. Yeah, so it was for the adults. Like if you belched out loud, like oh buzzard, it was like a thing. Oh, like, it wasn't a compliment or insult. No, it was like you, you nasty buzzard. I, I mean, oh, I it was oh, like a thing. Oh, term of endearment almost. But yeah, but disrespectful, I guess. If a child said it. Wow. And I learned that then. I've, I've, it's hard for me to say the word buzzard. To There's the just day. so much that we couldn't do as kids that I think that our parents really just over over exaggerated. They over exaggerated. You can't say lie. Oh, we couldn't say lie either. But you lying. Yep, you couldn't say lie. We had to say. We so had to you say, can tell the lie, but I can't say you told it. We had to say, <laughs> tell something. We had to say saying something wrong, or you telling a story, but you mm -hmm. could not say lie. Oh no, you couldn't. No. Yeah, we couldn't say. We could say dang, but we couldn't say darn. It's the weirdest thing. Really? Dang. And you couldn't. Well, you, couldn't say, you, you can't say it in front of your mom and them, but if they heard you, overheard you saying it, ah, eh, you know. But if you said darn, that's you just will be cussing. Sucker, you couldn't say sucker. Um, oh man, like. I don't know. It's just like the craziest stuff you couldn't say. And Man. you get in trouble. Yeah. And then it was, it's funny because it's different from family member to family member. Like my grandmother used to love to watch Def Comedy Jam with me and make me repeat the jokes that Martin and were doing. But nobody else in the family wanted that. But then I would go with them and have the discipline, don't say this, this, and this. And then I go try to tell the story for my grandmother and I would try to censor it. And she would get pissed. <laughs> like, That's not what he said. Say it like he said. <laughs> I like, but auntie, when I was like, auntie, how she said I couldn't, you know, I'm confused. Uh, so a couple of uh, news articles, news stories uh, popped off. One of them, it was very interesting to me. Did you see the one where they are looking to, on change.org, uh, a woman created a petition to ban Kevin Samuels. Let me let me yeah. just let me just read. And it's picking it? up steam. With the, yeah, yeah. They, all they wanted was like twenty five hundred signatures. Here they are with fifteen thousand nine hundred seventy three. Wow. Uh, from when we're recording it, but this is what it says: With the rise of violence against women, specifically African American women, YouTuber Kevin Samuels has galvanized the community of men of all races and nationalities in the outspoken hatred, hatred, wow. hatred of women. I don't know. Uh, removing this voice of divisive vitriol. Come on, words will, will allow women to feel safer, not only in public spaces, spaces, but in online communities as well. And it goes on and on and on. I want to read all that stuff. But it was the comment section for me. Look, check it out. They go, he's a danger to black women. <laughs> I agree to this. He is toxic. His rhetoric like is dangerous. Like he be dangerous. bugging people on the street. Oh, come on. His rhetoric is dangerous to protected classes of U.S. citizens namely women and African-Americans. Wow. This is the one I love. He's the devil. <laughs> Kevin Samuels is the devil. Oh, no, one more. Kevin Samuels and his busy brigade have got to go. As soon as this man became popular, BM have started terrorizing everyone more and more. All right, here we it's, go. It's the slang for me. Oh, my gosh. All right, so thoughts. <laughs> Kevin Samuels being banned from social media. What do you think? N no. He's doing what he does. Yeah. And if you don't like it, block him. That's all you got to do. You don't, you're not being forced to watch his content. You're not forced to watch it. He's doing what... And most of the time, the people that are getting the most ticked off with him are the people that are clicking in. Don't yeah. click in. I see lots of people that do let me, things Let me tell you, let me tell you what I was way. thinking. Um, if this had been Donald Trump, and of course, you know he's banned from stuff, but if this had been mm -hmm. Donald Trump, would we be saying, yeah, he got to go? Because he's probably said significantly worse. Yeah. And he did go. You think Donald Trump should have been banned from Twitter? Nobody even thought about it. I, I think he should have been. Okay. He, he, was, he was too busy tweeting. Mm. We, need, we needed a president. I'm going to go with you on that. Because I think that he should have, 
we, he should have been more presidential. He needed and, a PR person. And you every, shouldn't even be handling your tweets. Yeah. Nope. But, you know, not at all. No, but he, he yeah. Uh, so so my, my take on Kevin Samuels, I don't know if we, we have had this conversation on the air, but I like him. I like him a lot, actually. But there are ways and things that he does and says, now, nah, I'm not going to say that he is wrong for it. I just know I wouldn't. Because mm-hmm. some things is just, some things, there's a, there's a thing called common courtesy. Mm-hmm. You, 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 ain't, you can say it like that. And, and let's be clear. Some of the stuff that he is saying, all right, when he backs it up with the facts, right? all right, I got it. It is what it is. But I'm saying to say it like he's saying it, he don't have to do it that way. Mm. But it's like your grandma who doesn't have a filter, all right? Grandfather who doesn't have a filter. They're going to say it like they say it. And guess what we do? We just accept them. Hey, hey, we compartmentalize them. We say, hey, okay, I'm going to take the meat from this. I'm going to throw the bones away from this, and we're going to be, be all right. But that's my grandma, though. I have a loving relationship with her. Yeah. It's not some dude I called into a, a podcast to let him tell me about myself. But, and I, like, I, I agree to, to your point, though. I agree. I think that uh, it's important to note that it's not always what you say, but it's how you say it. And if what you mean is I think that maybe you're asking for – Maybe you have unreal expectations, mm-hmm. un- unrealistic expectations in relationships. Perhaps you should do some self inventory and then restructure your list of wants and needs based on what you can actually provide yourself. Don't say, ma'am, you're a five at best. Okay. She been a five her whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't the first person told her she was a five. You didn't mm-hmm. have to say that part. Well, but we can't say what he had to say and what he didn't have to say. I'm saying he said it like he said it based on how he meant it. And how he wanted to say it. I mean, Kevin, yeah, hey, man, you're my dude. Hey, you're my dude. All right. But some of that is them some tremendous feminine energy that is just is tough to watch sometimes. And Rough. it's like, I know I Rough. get I get what you're saying. Men for so long have felt disenfranchised by women. We felt like y'all have bullied us, y'all have beat us up because you have more words than we have. You know, y'all say stuff and cut us to the core, and we ain't got the vocabulary like that. We can't come back at you. So we just got to take it, be mad, go somewhere and show out and all this kind of stuff. But then along comes Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels was the bully that came on the playground that beat up the bully that was bullying you. And and the reason why guys are championing it so much is because he's fine. Somebody's finally doing something that we ain't been able to do. But it's not what you say. Most of the time, it's how you say it. And I think that the energy of it is what's causing all the vitriol. However, do I believe that Kevin needs to be banned from social media? Come on. <laughs> Stop it. Just don't, block. don't be ridiculous. Just mute him, block him, whatever you want to do if that's your choice. Or don't show up on his thing. Yeah. A lot of the people that's complaining, why are you coming on this man's uh, uh, show platform with a freaking bonnet on your head? Talking crazy. With your face all in the camera like this. You know he's gonna roast you. How's his face in the camera? Like this. All right, two times. It's too much. <laughs> no, two okay, 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 I got you. Okay. Yeah, point, point will take it. Face in the camera like this. I mean, it's too much. I kind of want to take that out. <laughs> I kind of want to take that out. Face in the camera. Because, uh, you know. Can you walk right back right, right, right yeah, into it? Yeah, it's the double entendre for me. And you, sir, did not have my, you didn't cover me. That's uh, all right, though. Uh, mm. Let me fall out there by myself, huh? No, no, I just want to see if you keep going. Oh, what goes around comes around. I'll be coming around. My God, that's good, man. <laughs> some of these comedians post sometimes like, yo, let me just go ahead and mute this. Cause this is just stupid. Yeah. All the girls that are just naked every day. You just woke up naked today. Yeah. All right. I, th- I hey, you know, think it's tiring. Be, and, Nobody and wants to see on your timeline when you open your phone up, you sit next to your girl. So like, it's first thing in the morning. My- Boom. Booty. All right, here we go. And all of a sudden, they don't understand how how. Uh, and now you works. in trouble for looking at it. No, real talk. Right. Like, I just went to the st- thing where all the stuff is. I don't. Fo- so you follow her? Okay. How you know her? I don't, I don't know her. Why she on your timeline? She ain't on my timeline. That ain't what that is. Mm. That's, it's the explore page. I'm, yeah. Let me, yeah. Let me go and block her now. That this person that I don't know that I've never seen. Hilarious. Yeah. No, yeah. It's never that deep. You know, it's not what you say; it's how you say it. Uh, it's kind of like this, uh, this this young lady I follow on Instagram. Her name is LB, the wife coach. And I love uh, the way she posts things because she p- puts it in words where women are starting to kind of agree with her on a lot of things that she says. Uh, like this thing she posted today says, you need to be so comfortable and open with your partner that if he ain't hitting it right, you can tell him. 
and it don't hurt. How you feel about that? No, we need more women like her. That's how you say it. Hell no. You've you've had a sexual situation where you might have been at a bad angle. Not not so you take it. It's the way you process it. Oh man, you could be at an angle where it could hurt. And she might be like, hey, man, can you flip it like this? You don't have time to be sensitive right there. That's just yeah. a quick statement. Just do what you I need you to do. You have such good communication <laughs> with your partner. She's like, hey, that angle kind of hurts. Let me flip it over here. Not like, oh, man, you always saying something. So that goes back. I'd segue that from the Kevin Samuel thing. It's like, that's, that's how you say it. If you're always saying something, that's different. If, if the, I got to always say something, always it's not say me. Anything. Okay, first of all, I, n- number one, why would, you, why would you crack a person's, like, their their, their pride and their ego like that. But that's not the that's, intention. If you if you're that hurt behind me saying, "Hey, this doesn't really feel good. Can we try this?" That's good. Okay. That's what I said. That's, that's what he just said. Delivery. Read the thing again. He said, "You need to be so comfortable with your spouse or partner that if he ain't hitting it right, you can tell him." Right. What I'm saying to you is hitting it right is defined by who or what. How is that defined? The person you, getting you, hit. You and your partner hitting it right. Okay? So the thing is, you're comparing it to what? No, oh, it's not a comparison, Katie. It's, it's about I what think... I. It's about my comfort, my level oh, of comfortability. Y'all and... ready to have this one? Y'all ready to have this one? We're Let's go. Already, already go there. Let's go. Let's go. Because there. for the most part, hello. Many times we bring to our relationships experiences. This is why you know people don't think it's it's you know it's it's even a thing to wait until you get married. But I'm saying we bring to our relationships situations that we had before now the relationship might not have worked but that worked and it worked well Mm -hmm. so you come to this relationship with this really great guy this really great girl but you remember how that worked from that relationship so now you're saying to this person you're not doing it right no you're not doing it like him you're not doing it like her. I think that's a reach. It don't mean that it ain't right. I think that's uh, a reach, Katie. I think that's, uh, okay. I think that's a reach. Uh, that's if just, I it, Okay, so if I like what I like and I'm asking, hey, can you try this because this is what I like? I'm not saying I want you to be Jared. How do you know, do you, how do you know what you like? Because it feels great. Based off of what? Based off experiences. I mean, but but I'm not telling. Exactly. Everybody has experiences, exactly. but that doesn't mean I'm we, saying to you, you need to be more like this girl I had sex with 12 years ago. That part. That's... That's a reach, Katie. Nobody's going to say that, but I'm, what I'm saying to you is I'm breaking it down. So if you have this conversation, okay. right, I agree with the fact that, if, that you should have a conversation about what works for you and what works for him. I think that that is important. But to say, even in the most diplomatic way, you ain't hitting it right, that says to me, you're not hitting it like dot, dot, dot. Based off of dot, dot, dot. And I'm saying, I don't know. I think the relationship should be one in which, A, we figure out what mutually works for us. And if there's a learning curve, let me learn it. Let me ask you this. If a learning curve, if do you need to learn it? Learn it. We'll we'll do it together. No criticism. What's the nice way for a man to tell a woman, hey, we're not getting it in enough? Because I I hear that's a popular complaint in some households. Very good. So in those scenarios, what you do is, depending on if it's a trigger for her, if it's a trigger for her, okay. then what you got to do is you got to schedule some time. And I'm going to say a cuss word because apparently it's a cuss word in our communities. Find a therapist. Get in front of the therapist and have that conversation with your wife. And say to her, because most of the time it's never about the act. Often it's about something else that's stopping you guys from connecting. That's stopping that. the act. I've seen that. And sometimes it's triggers from your childhood. It's like, man, well, let me tell you something. We are very complex beings. But when we minimize things to an act, it was about the, it was about the argument. It was about the fact. It's never about that. Okay. It's always typically about something else. All right, so let me stop you right there. That's great. So I was flipping it around, the scenario. Those things are the same thing. Mm-hmm. You not hitting it right might be something changed with her body, and she wants it a different way. It don't, be, it don't have to be a comparison. He'd be like, hey, man, you know, in this era of our relationship, these kind of positions work. Now, in this era, I need these kind of positions to work. The same thing where in the beginning, your woman might want it all the time. She might want six, seven times a week. Then, I don't know, something changes. She wants it two or three times a week, but you still want it six or seven times a week. Right. But I think the ultimate thing where her statement is, you got to communicate it. And mm-hmm. then segueing from Kevin Samuels, anything can be communicated if it's communicated properly. Yes. So it don't always have to be a jab. So I think what she's saying, you need to be so comfortable with your partner. You can tell them something that will hurt. 
Uh, a most couples, mm-hmm. but y'all communication should be so strong when you be like, "Hey, man, you know what? That position don't work for me no more. Let's not do that no more. Let's just kind of put that one away and let's try this." Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah, my my drawback, my kickback. First of all, facts. Yeah. My kickback is the whole you ain't hitting the right piece because I'm gonna tell you something. So, um, I've been with Ivy for what 20, 20 years, twenty l- twenty l- twenty l- l- three 20 months years. and two weeks. But then there's that. Okay. Mind your business. <laughs> real, real that, was, that was quite specific. Interesting how you in my situation. <laughs> uh, uh, Very but, specific. But I mean, yeah, man, you're right, man. That, that thing changes, bro. It mm-hmm. changes all the time. And you, yes, we all go through changes. And not just her, definitely me too. Bro. I mean, you know, there's days in which I'm, ex- I'm, seasons in which I'm extremely hungry. And then some seasons in which like, yeah, I'm, I'm not as hungry. I can eat, but you know, you know. So you just, I think that communication has to be there, but to, that part about you ain't hitting it right, that, that just, it's never going to land well with me like that. And I get what you're saying, yeah, yeah, and tough, I understand it. The, I just don't. I think she's trying like to say that. normalize the tough conversations. You got to be able to say it. Like uh, something, I, I'll be transparent, something I learned with me. I don't like uh, if we're just chilling, if we're just if we're chilling at one night, eight between 8 and midnight, and I'm a wide awake. And then I get to that point where those eyes are closing, I don't want to be woken up at that moment mm-hmm. to get it in. We had the times where I was wide awake. Don't let, don't let the eyes start to shut. And then you ready? You don't like the you don't like the sleepy nookie? I, I don't know because I was wide awake for hours. Give me uh, one, if I wanted it, I would have stayed up. What I want to do is sleep. Yeah, I just uh. do it while I'm wired. But it was a tough conversation because you know most people are like, oh, you caught me right when I fall asleep. That that changed with me. Now in my twenties, I loved that. Mm. Now I'm like, nah, if I'm dozing off at that era, that, those couple of minutes right there, mm. sleep and getting it in are kind of equal. And it's whoever comes first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when I fall asleep, are we getting it in? Whichever one comes not, first, not I'm going to be fine with that. I go. Uh, so Kanye West. So yeah, Kanye, you know, rented out the Mercedes Benz dome and uh, had a listening party for his tenth studio album called Donda. You know, his late mother, his name is Donda, and so uh, the whole city was a buzz, and it, you know, it was a really good time. It seemed on social media, I, I couldn't, you know, get tickets. Um, wait a minute, was it full, was it full of people? Like seventy thousand? It was sold out. It was there was no. Wait a minute, wait, wait, seventy thousand. Yeah, it was people? like a concert. Lit. It was like a concert. It was on everybody's Instagram page. I mean, it was it was out of yeah. control. Oh, it was like a concert. It was more people there than that were at the Hawks uh, Eastern Conference Finals game. So you you couldn't go. No, I could not go. You couldn't go, and I certainly couldn't go. Guess who went? Kime. Kime. You know Kime went. Mm. Kime. And didn't tell nobody nothing. Tell tell us about it. What, we didn't what, get any messages. How, about how it. did it? How, how, did you send out any invites to us? At I all? know he didn't text no, nobody. No, I didn't. Nope. Well, at least he didn't lie. <laughs> no, no invites. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was. Oh, it was packed. Like I told you. Oh my goodness, it was Delta packed. variant all up and through there. No, I'm not talking about the crowd. What is he wearing? What is that? <laughs> is, is it Missy Mister Meaner Elliot? Wow, he wow. Looked, he looked like the taste like candy dude. Tastes <laughs> like candy. What's wrong with his face? <laughs> he has a stocking cap. He keeps a mask covering it. No, he doesn't. I, what we're not going to do does is do that. Besmirch, besmirch this man of God. He does not have a stocking cap. On his face. And I think like. y'all owe him an apology for even suggesting that. No, because he looked like he's trying to rob a quick trip. Well, uh, uh, are you serious? Like, I'm, okay, I'm kidding. But is no, but he... that's what it is. No, so there's a mask covering his face. The there's a mask that, covering his that's face. That's pantyhose, sir. What is wrong with him? Did he get face surgery or something? It's pantyhose. I mean, that might have been his cover for that's like been COVID. He's been doing that for a few weeks now. Why? Uh, we don't know. The snack list, they was uh, selling $65 snack boxes and $50 um, hot dogs. Are and you serious? Yes, yes, yes. Wait, wait, it come. was like thirty-five dollar cookies, and they're vegetarian. Wow! Put the meat back in them. <laughs> Put the meat back in them. Is they cheaper with the meat? Because it was ridiculous. Like, bro, you already made probably millions of dollars. This is odd to me. Like, why is he got a whole stocking cap on his? Like, is this a thing? This, this picture a- was at the United. Game. Oh yeah, he went to the. Um, Cause he's still. No. He's still what? He's still sleeping there. Wait a minute. Day before yesterday. Yeah, he's still there. He's when, working when, on when, his... when was his party? Friday, Saturday? Listen, party was Friday. Thursday? Thursday. Thursday? Yes. Why he got the same clothes on? That's what another thing people were talking about, too. Oh, he's he's a method actor. He's sleeping there. He's going all the way in. He said he's going to stay till he finished that album. Uh, that's With not... the same clothes on? I guess so. Come on now. Let's, let's, but let's, it looked latex. Not... I know he hot up in let's, there. He's let's, sweating. Let's, let's, let's breathe easy. That's okay. some powerful deodorant he's wearing. Wait, Gotta wait. be. Tussie. Him having that on does not say that he didn't have showers. <laughs> the Katie Bo show. <laughs> Brought to you by Tussie. Tussie. <laughs> That's not saying that he didn't shower. I was yeah, not saying they don't have so, multiple okay, the same so outfits. You, so he showered and put the same clothes back on. It's possible. Or he got three of the same outfits. I mean, he Kanye. He Kanye. He don't care. 
Hold on, man. No, I can't let you go that far. You know what? You were an underwear flipper on the other side, weren't you? No, but I'm about to explain something to you. If a comedian does a comedy hour special and they did it at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, they wear the same outfit every night. That's a common thing because they're recording it and they're chopping it up. They're going to wear the same outfit. Do you so think Kanye hour, is providing us with every visuals? Every hour special Kanye that you have seen, they have the same outfit. You, performing here, sir. He is Kanye performing there. Is, no, he's not performing. He, he went is. and attended the United game. He out there kicking it with the people on his phone or whatever with the but pantyhose I'm, on his face. What I'm saying, he could have just been like for footage of it. somebody yeah, can with a camera. you ain't going to win this one, dog. I ain't, Look at them shoes. I, I, you Look you at the shoes. I love you, dog, but yeah, but, this ain't. Okay. Look at the shoes. Now, when he drops a Netflix special next year and it's Kanye's weekend in Atlanta. No, Beyonce already that did that. On. Beyonce already did that. I mean, we don't want that no more. It can be done again. We don't want that no more. The overall experience, though. How was it? The show was okay. Whoa. It was very Whoa. much okay. Um, was it you, just you Kanye or were y'all listening to? I mean, he did it live or what? Kanye came out, stood in the mid- middle of the arena, and played songs off his laptop, essentially. The, did, he, did he talk? No, 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 no. No, he wasn't mic'd. They didn't have cameras on him. He was not on monitors. It was Are literally watching this me? orange dot in wow. the middle of a stage with a spotlight. It was... It was really underwhelming. I'm going to hey. need you to give me more than that if I'm coming to the... Hey, it's already been done. Tickets were sold. It was sold out, and he served his purpose. And people, a lot of people said they had a good time. Like, when you looked at the trending on Instagram, people it were having it a ball. It was energetic. People loved it. Like, yeah, people, none people from him, it. though. Uh, shout out to uh, to Kanye West and um, all that he is uh, doing. I, I, don't, I don't get the insanity, it, whether it's insanity or whether it's genius. I don't know, but... Um, all hail the king, right? Only king I know is King Jesus. Mm-hmm. Jesus, he is my <laughs> friend. <you> say? <laughs> Not Jesus, <laughs> the Lamb of God. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. You guys, what are you doing this week? Uh, this week, I don't know. It just started. I wasn't talking to you though. Oh. oh, sorry. I didn't realize. You know what? You've to, been very disrespectful. You're talking to me? Do All right. Well, so I'm just, um, you know, I'm just working. Wow. Honestly, just working. I need to write a lot of stuff. I have some contracts to fulfill, hmm. um, some brand gotcha. stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Sure. And think um, mm-hmm. maybe try to go home and visit my folks this weekend. Mm. Oh. See what they're up to. They miss me. I'm their favorite child. Oh, I know. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, For uh, obvious reasons. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> You see what I did right there? He took it again, Rod. Right? Mm. Oh, that's not big. It doesn't bother me like that. What is this? He's going to play music in front. Oh, am I on the show again? Oh. The level of petty. Oh, yeah, he man. went through wow. a Rolodex. That's, that's what we're doing? You hey, that's what, what you're doing, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm here with you. What you going to do this weekend, bro? Uh, I don't know. All that, and you and you <laughs> all, all that, and you don't know. I don't know. No, nah, I'm at the Stardome this weekend, actually. I'll be at the Stardome Comedy Club in Birmingham, Alabama, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday, and one show Sunday, mm. uh, along with Steve Brown. If y'all want to come down, come on out. Tickets, tickets available at stardome.com. Link in the bio. It is in the bio. No, it's not. But we can put it there. We might. We should. I it, man, I don't know. KD's been if on one of You know what, Rod? Even if, even if KD don't support you, I will always support you. I'll put Thank the you. link in my bio. Appreciate it. I'll Thank come you. to the show. That's what real friends do. That's wow. Fine. I don't need no mic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no mic. Been hollering since I was three, okay? That I part. got this. <clears throat> Link in the bio of all the stuff we talked about, including the, the Kanye West Donda Air. You can get it, I'm sure, available I have, somewhere. I have some available for $500 each. Thank mm-hmm. you. Roll the credits. <laughs> it's the Katie.